Sworn I saw. Is it gone? That's weird. We couldn't have missed. Missed who? <gasps> Careful, everyone. They're carrying a dragon soul. I can sense it. You shouldn't be here. Get out, now. Get out. Get out. Get out, or pay the price. All right, you little ghost. You want some of this? Wait. Yuma, what's wrong? I know her. I mean, I know them. <laughs> what? You, you saying this ghost is a friend of yours? She's not a ghost. I met her a few times back at Galeritz. There were twins there, and she's the sister. Sister? No, I'm a boy. My name's Et. Don't get us mixed up. Wait, you're the brother? Something wrong, Yuma? Uh, never mind. Sorry about that. So, you remember me, huh? Yeah. 
My sister Marion liked you for some reason. What? I think that's enough chit-chat for now, Et. Yoim. <laughs> My, it's been a while. You know this guy too? Yeah. He was at Gelrit's prison too. He's the Magus that was experimenting on us. <laughs> oh, the time we had together in Gaelritz. Didn't you have fun? Fun? I never want to be part of your sick experiments again. Oh, really? A shame. It certainly was fun for me. Just remembering your screams gives me such a rush. You gave me quite a shock, you know. All that time, and you managed to hide the Shining Dragon from my analytic sacrament. I've kept your cell nice and warm. Be a good little guinea pig and come back to me. I'll take care of you. Listen to me! I'm never going back! Is that so? Then I'm afraid you leave me no choice. Et? <sighs> Et, are you listening? I'm giving you an order. Teach those ingrates a lesson. Fine. Et! observed this kind of feedback before. I wonder what could be causing it. <coughs> Hello in there. Are you all right, Et? Damn it! Damn it! I... I'm... <coughs> <coughs> ah, of course. I see now. It's the Shining Dragon. 
It's possible the dragon soul was exposed to the shining dragon for too long, and now there's some struggle for control. I suppose that's only natural, since the eye was only implanted with a common dragon soul. Implanted? Et, have you calmed down? <sighs> The pain's starting to go away. I think I'm okay now. Indeed. Good. Well, I see no ruins here. I doubt I'll find any of the world dragons either. A shame, but it seems I've wasted my time. And I can hardly capture the shining dragon like this. Perhaps it's time I called it a day. Time to go, Et. Wait, what was that about your eye? Shut up. Uh. Et! He's gone. I guess the Flash was just to let him escape. Et, why are you doing this? Yuma, were you friends with that boy? I knew him, but we weren't really that close. We just saw each other now and then. Apparently, I didn't even know them well enough to tell them apart. I guess I was wrong about what happened to Ed. What do you mean? Back when I was at Gelrit's prison, I overheard the guards talking. It sounded like they put Ed through some insane experiment. And he didn't survive. Damn. But that was him, right? I guess. I must have misunderstood. Either that experiment never happened, or... Or maybe it was actually Marion that died. I'm not sure. I see. I can no longer sense a dragon soul. Its aura faded with Et's departure. Whatever else this cavern may hold, it appears there are no world dragon souls here. Back to square one. So where are we supposed to look now? Hmm. Well, if we're searching for ruins, there could be some records left. Might be time for some research in the castle library. Ah, oh, good idea. I'll give you a hand with that. Wait, you? Hey, don't give me that look. I study ancient history sometimes, okay? It's not a big deal. Besides, I'm a seasoned traveler, a man of the world. I know the lay of the land here in Alfheim. Wow, I guess you wandering off on your own actually came in handy for once. Okay, let's do it. Well, now we've got that figured out, let's head back to Astoria. Rinna, Agnum, I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, we're on the case. <laughs>